uncovered bow your head for prayer on this day for this memorial service may God look over us all and be ever present for all our soldiers on duty now that are in harm's way and may, may we always be a free nation and have everyone that sacrificed their time and effort and came back alive be thankful for that in God's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, at this time I'd like to announce our committee for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Uh, on my right, Joe Peterson. Everybody knows him. He's our mayor. I've never seen him before. The other gentleman is Tom Woodruff. 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 Woodruff Monument. Okay, Tom. Fair. And um, Lenny Maluski from the V. John Walczyk from the V. Chuk. Ninjo. from PLAV Post 7. Jeff Tarno from the VBA. Mark Ratinsky from the VBA 259. And Ed Kulicki from uh, American Legion, 217. Am I missing anybody? Don Howard from Post 217, American Legion. Ken Oleski from the VFW. So that's our committee. They're here today to represent their uh, group. Um, I'd like to start off with a little. Oh, I brought it. I'd like to thank you all for, for coming today, showing up on this beautiful day. It turned out to be really nice. So today we break ground on a long overdue monument to our 10 warriors that gave the ultimate sacrifice for their country in the Vietnam War. We can't imagine the price they paid, but by looking back on our own life, we could see some of what they never experienced. We all hoped we would make it back home to return to the life that we knew. Some gave all and never returned to that life again. For us returning, we came back to a country that was against the war and against the troops that served in it. We were greeted not by flag-waving crowds, but by protesters with signs and a veterans organization that never thought the Vietnam was a war and the Vietnam veterans were not an equal. As a Vietnam veteran, we want to make sure that our returning veterans today do not get the same kind of homecoming that we did. Amen. We should never forget the price of freedom. And in closing, I would like to say, on behalf of the Military Order Purple Heart, welcome home, Vietnam veterans. Thank you for your service and sacrifice to your country. Job well done. Thank you. On behalf of the city, like the other elected officials, like the, uh, we have some elected officials here, Councilman and former Mayor Leonard Sabuda, and Judge Randy Kalmbach well, the officials called there was other plans and they could not make it but they sent their greetings I would like just first to say that this committee started over a year ago with a group of veterans Vietnam veterans all of us in this line are all Vietnam veterans and Dave come up with a thing about the 10 soldiers that did not make it back to this home. That left thinking they were coming back and never made it back. What a sad day and what a sad part of our life. All of us felt that something was missing from the opportunity that we gave for the sacrifice 
for a better life for our veterans, our citizens, and the people of our country to be able to be free people. When the ideal came up to get together, these veterans stepped forward just like they did when it was time to go to war. And for the veterans and everybody in the audience and the Vietnam veterans, if you please raise your hand, okay? I'd like to thank every one of you for coming and continue to be part of it, as we will never forget that, and we'll be in brotherhood for as long as we live, all veterans. But us Vietnam veterans, we felt that there was something missing in the city of Wyandotte, and after, well, after in November, in the beginning of today, that something will finally be filled, a void that will finally be filled. A rest will come for these 10 veterans that did not come back home. This will be their resting place for all of us to come here and say thank you for sacrificing our life. And I say thank you for serving our country the way you did. Thank you. You ready? I'm going to do the first little thing up there. Tom, Dave, Dave, Dave. Okay. Lenny.